Hey, it's Ken Conan here from uh, Hudson Hockey River Channel. Sitting down with a couple players and the coach tonight. We've got Ben Lundeen here, Cole Danielson, and Coach Lockwood. Thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate it. Quick reminder to everybody, we are going to be live this year. So Channel 6, the River Channel, uh, YouTube, Facebook, and HudsonBroadcast.com are the four or five different ways you'll be able to see hockey this year. So really ramping up our efforts to get the... Uh, get the uh, championship out there and get some great visibility for these guys. So I wanted to start off just asking you guys, I mean, what a season last year was championship run. What a game. I mean, I was dying watching the, those last couple games. I mean, we had a goaltender standing on his head that last, I think it was 2-1 in the finale, if I remember right. What happens after the championship? What, uh, what happened, you know, the next couple days and weeks? Are you guys preparing for next season? What's that look like? For the coaching staff? Yeah, what's it look like for coaches? And then we'll talk to the players. What's it look like for you guys? Uh, well, I mean, I think we're, we're, out, we're exhausted. You know, it's a long sure. weekend. You're taking care of a bunch of high school kids and not only <laughs> trying to prepare for games, but making sure they're fueled, rested, ready to go, and they're focused. So, you know, I think we're just excited to get back with our families and, and excited to, to kind of relax. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. And do you guys always like to know kind of logistics behind when you go up there? Is it Are you all staying in the same hotel? Do you take a bus up there together? What's that look like? Yeah. So we take a bus up there, and then we stay in a hotel room with a, a guy or a couple guys. So okay. always team bonding. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Nice. And family, friends get to stop by, or coach puts, a, puts the brakes on that? Coach puts the brakes on that one. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah. I would, too. I would, too. <laughs> nice. So a great weekend for everybody. I mean, what a what an epic run this last year was. So what happens? What are you guys doing? What are you doing in the off season to keep fit, keep ready for uh, this upcoming season? So the guys usually get together um, after the off season or after the season, and then we talk about what we have to do. And you know, like last year, um, we obviously had a great season, but we lost a bunch of guys. So we talked about how we need to fill that, and we're not going to be the team that we were last year. So through the off season, we just bonded and. We have to be a grinding team this year since we're not that grinding team, but we were just super skilled last year, but obviously we grinded a lot and yeah. we were just super tight-knit. Yeah. Yep, so uh, like after the season, a couple weeks after, we'll have uh, like individual player meetings with the coaches and sometimes it can be enjoyable, sometimes maybe not so much, <laughs> but they're always truthful with us, which yeah. is like the best part about it. And so you'll sit down, it'll be Coach Lockwood and Coach Dean, and they'll tell you, like, all the players what they need to work on for the next season and, like, what they really, like, thought you did well, like, in the, especially in the state tournament. And just, like, kind of talk up just basically, like, what you need to do over the summer to be the best player you can be for the next season. That's so. great. And when you talk to them, Coach, is it, is it uh, off, <coughs> off ice conditioning? Is it on mm -hmm. ice? What, what are you telling them? Just and not specifically these guys, but what in general? What <coughs> I think in general it's more, you know, what are some strengths you had throughout the last year? What are some weaknesses? Yeah. You know, what are the opportunities you have this off season? And so we go over through, kind of analyze with them, and it's more of a conversation on where they're at as a player and how they could, where we see them fit in the following following year. Nice. And are you guys on your own for this? They give you this feedback, and are you just a team, or how's um, that work? Well, we usually have morning skates in the summer, okay. and then off ice, and then we. Usually people do stuff on their own just to stay fit and get better at what they need to be better at. Awesome. awesome. Yeah, we have the team option, or so everybody comes together as a team to do this on-ice skating. But for the off-ice work, that's really like individual motivation on if you want to put in the work to get better over the summer or not. So. Awesome. Awesome. And from a uh, kind of where the team's at, so how many seniors graduated last year from the team? Was it five, six? I think like... 10 or 11 no, maybe. 11. Oh my yeah. gosh, that many. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then this mm -hmm. year, Ben, you're a senior. How many other yep. seniors are going to be on that, uh, you know, from the team? Do you guys know that yet? I think there's nine seniors. Nine? nine that okay. Right. That's awesome. So half the team. Exactly. Wow. That's awesome. Or not half the skaters are seniors. Mm -hmm. That's great. That's great. What's, uh, and then what's the goalie pitcher look like this year? We had two seniors, right? Um, who... And I don't, you don't have to divulge who the, the top or whatever, but we've got two guys, I would assume. Yeah. Who are our two goaltenders and uh, what, you know, what how, you know, juniors, sophomores? Uh, we got a senior and a junior. Senior and a junior, okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Are you still battling it out for position right now? 
Are yeah, you? I mean, it's always open competition. Awesome. Sure. Awesome. What's your philosophy when you come into a fresh season? We're getting ready to kind of kick off. I think Friday is the first game for the team. We got an away tournament in Woodbury, is that right? Yep. Awesome. Uh, what's the philosophy coming into this with uh, with the team? What's uh, where are you trying to have their their head right now? Uh, we just we're installing, you know, our systems and you know power play, special teams. So it's a lot thrown at them all at once. And we just try to keep it as simple as we can and make sure they can you know get out there and get on their toes for the first few games. We want to see a lot of effort and then let's we'll make corrections and get better after the two games. Awesome. Awesome. And you guys coming into this tournament, is it a two, three game, four game tournament? It's What's that look like? Two game tournament. Two game, okay. Yeah. And Woodbury, who do you play first and when's that? Uh, we play Mankato East on Friday. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. And I think we're going to kick off the first home game will be televised. It's that Superior game, if I remember right, which it's kind of a big kickoff game, oh, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Want to talk game. about that a little bit, coach? Well, I think they're, you know, they're a section rival and we play them twice a year and yeah. each time it's a, it's kind of a test to see where we're at and where we need to improve, how do we match up with them and, and every time we want to make sure that we at least, you know, compete, compete at a high level so we can see where we're at. Awesome, awesome. Let's get back to kind of uh, where you guys come from, uh, from a hockey perspective. Maybe we can start with you, Ben. Influences growing up? Uh, did you come up through the ranks in Hudson? Tell us a little bit about your, uh, you and your background in hockey. Yeah, I've always played for Hudson, so just since the youth level. I started in like second year mites, and then ever since just went through squirts, peewees, bantams, and then eventually to high school. Nice. And it was just, I always kind of looked up to the people, the age group above me a little bit. So when I was a squirt, I'd look to the peewees and like think they're so good and like <laughs> use that as motivation to like want to be like those guys. And then all the way up through high school. Awesome. And remind us what position do you play on the team? I play right wing. Right wing. And have you always been a winger? Uh, for the most part. Okay. I can play some center, but mostly a wing. Never got the crazy goalie uh, gene in your... Uh... <laughs> nope. Passed on that one. <laughs> good. good. Awesome. How about you, Danielson? <coughs> um, yeah, I've also been in Hudson my whole life, but my parents, neither of them played hockey, so it's definitely been different. But once they put me into it, it just clicked, and I've always loved it. So I just kept going and just grinded it out. It's been fun. Awesome. And remind us, uh, what position do you play on the team? I play center or wing. I, I can play either. So Awesome. So i got to share a quick story. When he was a peewee, uh, we were watching a different game, came over and watched the A squad play. And uh, Danielson's out floating around the blue line, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. You told me earlier he hadn't yeah. had a goal all year long. He's had a drought. He's like, <laughs> he just cranks up this huge slap shot. And I, I don't know if the goalie moved or he just nailed it, but sticking about halfway out of the net, what goes in for the goal, and then it sticks out the back at Pee Wee, oh. almost blows right through the net. <laughs> I'm like, who is that guy? It was one of my favorite shots. Obviously, <laughs> it was really fun. Really fun. How about you, Brooks? You grew up in, in Hudson, or what's uh Yeah, I grew up in Hudson. Um, I'm originally from Ashland, Wisconsin, so that's where I got started playing hockey. Okay. Up near Lake Superior. Yeah. Um, and then moved down when I was young um, and grew up, played played high school hockey here. Awesome. Yep. Awesome. And do you guys still get together, some of the old high school guys on the Yeah, we Thursday play every night, Thursday you know? night. Yeah. Yep. So um, I haven't gotten to escape this year, so I'm getting a little – some some grief for that but uh yeah we get together and and you know ben bosworth a teammate of mine he's an assistant yeah, coach yeah. davis drisky was a teammate of mine he's an assistant coach ben metler was a teammate of mine he's an assistant so awesome we're yeah it's a pretty tight group you gotta yeah uh, i'll tell you from a coaching perspective you guys are very very blessed in <laughs> my opinion to have the staff that you have working with you guys i yeah. mean what a great crew yeah, it's good that, you know, Dean Talifus obviously is an NHL player. And right. Division one coach to help out is tremendous. And then to have Davis come back, too, is, yeah, yeah. it's been a great awesome. benefit. Yep. That was one of my favorite moments with Hudson Hockey was being able to announce, please welcome the Stanley Cup <laughs> yeah. to Gornick Arena <coughs> when they came, when he won the Cup with the Kings. Mm -hmm. He came back. I'm sure you guys were all there. And came marching in with it. I mean, I'm getting goosebumps just talking about it. It was, it was really a moment. It mm -hmm. was really, really cool. Um, what, uh, from a forward perspective, how are we looking from, a for, from our forwards and wings this year? How are we looking? Yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, I think on both sides, we have a lot of key players that have returned. So we have a yeah. lot of our nucleus back. Um, so I don't you know. Good. 
anybody I think we got to improve every day to get better. I anybody you'd call out on the uh, besides these two studs? Anybody you'd call out as a, you know, somebody to watch? I know last year we had a couple key players that were, yeah, wheeling and dealing out there. Yeah, the, I mean these two obviously are two of our top players. Yeah. Um, certainly Jordan Halverson's grabbed a lot of attention, the defenseman who awesome. had a good fall with Team Wisconsin in the in the Elite League. And yeah. Made the All Star game for the Elite League, so that's a big honor. That's great. Mm -hmm. That's great. Awesome. <coughs> How about you guys? What uh, what uh, what's the program for this year? Um, from a team perspective, anything you guys are doing besides what the coaches have planned to kind of uh, bond or get together or, or improve your game? Yeah, uh, we understand that last year we had a lot of really skilled players and we don't have like that skill of players anymore this year. So we, we know that we have to be a grinding team and we all have to come in and buy in basically. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, uh, we know we're going to have our offense, like the returning players from last year. We'll be able to produce offense, but like the hard part is going to be uh, getting the younger guys to step up and compete and work hard and be able to take a regular <laughs> shift. Awesome, <coughs> awesome. So uh, I'm going to digress a little bit. Tell me about your favorite hockey play that you saw back in the day, either you know an old Gretzky or whatever. <coughs> Tell me about one of your uh, go shoot from the hip here a little bit. You want to start, Lundy? I'll, I'll let Cole go okay. first. Cole. Um, my pass definitely the spinorama was probably my favorite move. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Love it. It doesn't have to be your favorite move. It could just be a play that, you, you know, back in the day. I, I remember watching this replay of an uh, Ovechkin goal sure. when I was young where he kind of, like, fell down and from his back just kind of, like, spun the puck on the ice as oh, he was yeah. sliding oh, yeah. on, like, oh, a yeah. rush. And I just remember seeing that, and I was like, that is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. <laughs> like, he's, a, he's crazy good. Yeah. yeah. What about you, Coach? You got a favorite from back in the day? Favorite goal? Mm. Yours or anybody else's? Uh, <laughs> I think Messier when he said he was going to win it. Messier was my favorite player growing up. Oh, yeah, Mark so Messier. Yep. He said he was going to win. Or what? They were going to guarantee to win, and they, he scored one of the game-winning goals. So awesome. that's what I always remember. Awesome. Yeah. How about you guys? Favorite team? Hockey team? Football team? Favorite team? I'd say anything Wisconsin, but yeah. since <laughs> Wisconsin doesn't have a hockey team, I'd I'd go with the Wild for okay. hockey. Nice. Yep. Well, the Wild are my favorite hockey team, but I think I'm more of a diehard Vikings fan. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry to yes. hear that. Yeah. <laughs> how, how are you guys doing this year? Not good. <laughs> it's been a rough one. <laughs> been a rough year. My favorite team? Yeah, pick a team. Football, hockey, uh, whatever. <laughs> God, I don't know. I like Badger football and Badger hockey. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. All right, we're going to do a speed round with, the, with you guys. I already prepped you guys. Coach is going to go on cold. Are we ready for this? <laughs> yeah. So f favorite line from a movie? If you're not first, you're last. Ricky Bobby. Love it. I'd have to go with uh, the name on the front is a heck of a lot more important than the name on the back. Nice. Mine is uh, this looks like this could be gravy. Caddyshack. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you guys have all those holstered. Like, I, I don't know what my favorite I told them before favorite. we got in here. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I have no idea. Come back to you. Yeah, there you go. All right, favorite song. <laughs> Fire up song. Fire up song. Anything Nickelback. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm not sure. I don't know if I have Is a favorite song. Is that true? Song. Nickelback? Oh, okay. That's total sarcasm, right? Uh, right? Yeah, love it. I couldn't tell. Yeah, I don't know if I have a favorite song. <laughs> All right, I'm going anything ACDC. Anything ACDC? Maybe anything, yeah, for the most part. I don't know. Bob Dylan's my favorite. Bob song. Dylan. Yeah. Okay. All right, that's an easy one. Favorite restaurant, favorite item that you, you get when you go there? I'd, mm. I'd say Pure 500. Yeah. And just <laughs> nice. uh, whatever their special burger is. Nice. I think I'd have to go with Chipotle. Chipotle. <laughs> I, I can get just about anything there. So burrito, taco, yeah, yeah. whatever. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm. I'll go Barker's. Uh, nice. Great White Hope. Awesome. Mm -hmm. well, last one on the speed round. Fun fact. Fun fact about anything? About you. Um. It's got to be a fact, though. <laughs> fact: I've had two major surgeries when I was little. Really? Mm-hmm. Huh? Wow. I've never had a surgery before. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. Yeah. Nice. 
A fun fact. Well, I don't know. I got, I got nothing. Got nothing. That's what do fine. you got? Fun fact for me? Yeah. Oh, put me on the spot. I like that. Uh, <laughs> hmm. I do announcing for the uh, North American Hockey League for the Minnesota Oh yeah, Magicians. that's right. Yeah, I guess it's kind of fun fact. Um, so let, this is e this is another kind of speed round. This is either or. So you pick one of the two. I'm going to say two things. You pick one that fits you. Well, we'll everybody will get hit with it. Rister or slapper? Wrist shot. Wrist shot. Wrist shot. Nice. Steak or fish? Steak. Steak. Day. Nice. Car or truck? Truck. Car. Truck. Yeah. <laughs> Summer or winter? Summer. 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 Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a tough one. Too much one. time in a ring. Sally Button or the big face stick? You know what I'm talking about, the big stick face thing? Sally or Sally Button. Sally Button. Sally Button. Neither. <laughs> <laughs> Backhander or glove save? Backhander or glove save? Yeah. Backhander. 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 Okay. Last one. Mighty Ducks or Slap Shot? Slap Shot. Mighty Ducks. Nice. <laughs> I don't know. I'll go Ducks. ducks. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Awesome. So that kind of wraps up my questions. Do you guys have anything you want to spitball about or talk about? Uh, kind no, of I got dragged season? into this. From the beginning. <laughs> nice. No. Always talking yeah. into it. Love it. Well, I'm excited. I know uh, myself and Todd will be up in the booth yip yapping about you guys this year, and mm -hmm. we look forward to having a great season. I think uh, I think you guys are positioned really well from what everything I hear in town, and, and just kind of see from you guys great attitudes and get off to a good strong start again. Wish you guys all the best. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for all for joining us again. Ben Lundin, Cole Danielson, I'm Ken Conan, and this is Coach Lockwood. Thanks for joining us on the River Channel. We'll see you guys either on Channel Six, YouTube, Facebook. Our HudsonBroadcast.com. Again, Ken Conan signing off from here. Thank you.